to my motherfucking channel so today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me i know i'm not going nowhere and no i'm not doing nothing i just decided to do it also because i got everything for the giveaway today so if you want to know how to enter the giveaway and what is in the giveaway let's just keep on watching you have to watch all of it watch all of it and then yeah so let's get on with the video but anyways um i think i was wearing this shirt my last video who cares but today i'm gonna be doing like a get ready with me type of thing just because i don't know what to record and i don't have any looks like in mind and i don't have a lot of time because i'm lazy i'm sleepy and it's just laziness so i'm just gonna do a get ready with me where am i going nowhere i'm gonna stay home and take pictures to be honest um but yeah um the reason i do do really need to record though is because i finally got everything in um i believe past yesterday i tried to record the video i tried to record a video when i got everything in but it just did not work like the look i, I just didn't like it so i i just didn't do the video but um basically i got everything in for the giveaway so i finally have everything all together i was missing only like <clears throat> three things but it finally came in because miss morphe over here was taking her a sweet time but you know what is here is here and let's get into it this is not my foundation shade it like kind of is but then not it like i have my days i don't know why the fuck my skin does that sometimes it's lighter sometimes it's darker but whatever i brown to the max and i make it look like and make it look fun so this is the beauty creation in the shade fs2 fs 2.5 and bitch i love it and it's cheap so let me just freaking cut it cut it oh well, am i cutting it no i'm cleaning it right I'm cleaning it so before this i already um moisturized and prime so i recently dyed my hair um i needed to go touch up and the salon's finally opened up but I'm waiting for this to wash out and to stay with the color that it's supposed to be. So. Okay, so now we're going to do the rest of the face. So I just, I don't know, I just do like dots here and there. So the sponge that I'm using, this is the Real Techniques one. This is their new like, um, like fuzzy one. Um, like I don't know if you guys have heard or seen the Juno sponge. It's supposed to be like that. But yeah, I like it. It's honestly my favorite one right now. Um, I used to use a lot the Eco Tool one, and then I got this one at Ulta. It was my first time seeing it, like when it first came out. It was my first time seeing it, so I got it. And I haven't stopped using it. Uh, who also sent me one that I liked? Um, Beauty Creation. I got one from Beauty Creation, and I liked it. It was, like, honestly, this one's better, but, like, it was good. Next, I'm going to conceal. To conceal, I've been using this one, but... For some reason now is looking like my shade which it used to be lighter than me and now it looks like close to my skin color so it's like i don't know um but this is in the shade almond so i don't know i think i'm gonna go like at least a shade lighter i think you guys might think i'm tripping but i like it to be super um like bright like i love to highlight bright I also want to go ahead and try out new um like concealers, but I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't know which ones I want, but I want to go ahead and try out concealers because normally concealers I don't really try out. I try out more. Um, the things that I do change a lot is my foundation, but concealers I've always remained the same. Everything else remains the same from my um, routine. It's just normally the only thing that will change is the foundation. But I want to go ahead and try new concealer. Um, I was using... Which one I used to use? I forgot, but I used to use it. And I didn't like it because it would cake up a lot. 
It just looked very cakey under my eyes, so I didn't really fuck with it. A lot the uh, Wet n Wild contour stick in the shade Wears Walnut, and then I went ahead and changed to this one right here. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I go ahead and use it, and then I do like a little bit of dots for like um, like a bronze. I said so. Like this is like a contour shade, and then this would be like a bronze. Um, and this is in the shade of Fawn. So, yeah, the fun one gives me the warmth that I like. I love to be very warm, um, bronzers. And then this here gives me the contour. Now I do do sections because I noticed that it dries. Um, a lot of girls just go in with it, but mine always seems to dry. And I don't really know why. I always like to take a brush and I go ahead and blend it because I know um, when I use a beauty blender, it tends to take longer to blend and it tends to um, lift my foundation for some reason. Although I'm pretty sure there's a reason, but I haven't like really gone into it like, to figure out why. So I'll go ahead and just do that and that. Um, for my everyday, I do use um, the, the fawn in these areas. But if I'm going somewhere, like like uh, let's say for example, a party or something, I go ahead and like contour, like with, um, I go ahead and use beautiful browns everywhere. And then I go fawn like in little places here and there. But when not, I just use fawn up here and stuff because it just does it like it's not dramatic. So after this, I go ahead and set. Um, every day, it's I always try to do a different setting powder. So I either go from Laura Mercier, Airspun, um, the Makeup Revolution. Is that what it's called? makeup revolution or i use like um pressed powders so like i love this one i love to use a yellow or like i bought a yellow from nyx a yellow powder so it just honestly i don't know i always change so it's like i don't feel like it's like depending on the day but today i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my laura mercier so i'm just gonna go in with my sponge and go ahead and remove um, any creasing that has happened, if there's any. Then I take a wedge. Um, this is from Equal Tools. And then I go ahead and... So, I just go in. Um, I always set it right here. Okay, so all I did was use the same translucent powder and put it onto my eyes using the... Morphe XJH09. This is a brush for highlighter, but I liked it for the to be setting my eyes. What I do is set the under eyes, the lids, the places where I applied um, concealer, and my smile lines. And then I just go in with bronzer. My bronzer always changes, always. So I'll either go in with this bronzer in the shade Dulce de Leche or my Physician Formula in the shade Light Bronze. What's another one that I use? Or it would be one from, it would be my contour from Anastasia. But I'm just today I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And use my JH06 from Morphe and this one has a very like fine point over here so it allows you to get like a chiseled look in my giveaway I did apply apply where I did put a set of brushes So I go ahead and place it anywhere I cream contour and then I'm gonna go in and bronze 
with a butter bronzer in the shade light bronze and I go ahead and take this above and I feel like it just warms everything and that's like my favorite like look like to be look like warm bronze so I go ahead and use the Morphe X E62 and then I go ahead and place it I go ahead and do like three dabs a little bit and then I just go in like if I know how to contour but I don't And just I just do that and then I also take it for my under lips and all that does is give you an illusion of a bigger lip a bigger bottom lip so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the bottom so then I just do that and bring it down to set everything right there powder brush right away and I just go ahead and take it all off and insert through the motion so that it could kind of blend up with my bronzer and the reason I do that is because I don't like to see a harsh line like stuff then basically I'm technically done-ish so all I'm gonna do is um, spritz the face with um, setting spray so I'm just gonna go ahead with my Urban Decay taking this side of the sponge I'm gonna go ahead and press everything in together I go ahead in with my um, highlighter the highlighter I've been into right now is this one. This is the Kylie one. This is from Ice. I mean, this is in the shade Ice Me Out. And then Ice Me, Ice Me Out. And then I go ahead and use this brush right here. This is the Morphe M501. Yeah. And then. Just go ahead and highlight my desired areas. Under the, the brow bone. For a while, I stopped doing it. And then I got back into it. Because it honestly makes a difference in your makeup. Blush. Now my blush is my A1 blush. Um, I use it all the time. I haven't found another blush that I like. And it is the Milani Luminoso. This one. This is my blush brush. You can tell. This is the Morphe M401. I go ahead and take that on the apples of my cheek. The apples of my cheek, yeah. And then I go like this just to make sure everything's blended. So now for my eyes, I go ahead and do something simple because it's like my everyday type of thing. So the palette that I like to use is this one right here. This is the Jenny Rivera B Bella Cosmetics collaboration. This is what she looks like. I do have both of them. I have everything from that collection. I got the whole PR thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to... I go in with Bella first, which is... Is this brush clean? Which is this one right here. And then I go ahead and start blending with the shade brave which is kind of like a cross from it it's this one right here it's only like a shade darker but i'm gonna go ahead and take that using the same brush as the wet and wild and put it into my crease so 
stuff that I put in my crease, I like pack it on just a little bit and then I go ahead and blend it out with the other one. Like so. And then I go in with the last shade, which is called Godness, right? Godness, which is this one right here. And I go ahead and place that all over the lid. So I just take it and place it like that all over the lid. <laughs> so now I take a pencil brush and I go in with the same shade Godness right here. And I go ahead and pick it up with the tip of the brush. And I take it under the lid. Or is it under the lid? Under my lash line? Under my lid. I don't know. So the lashes I'm gonna be going in with are these. These are from Beauty Creations in the shade in in the shade. In the style Insta Famous. This became my new favorite. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my lashes and I'll be right back. Now for my lips, I go ahead and put like chapstick or something on first to be moisturized under. I lost my favorite liner that was from Makeup Revolution. And so I've been using a, a lipstick that is close to the shade. So this is like a, like a fucking brown ass lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead around the edges with it. So after it looks like that, I'm gonna go ahead and use Distance Distance the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade uh, Naked and I go ahead and do it um, in the center. Right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, in the center. Take my finger, I go ahead and pat it. I go ahead and pat it to do that mix. Then I go in with a brush that I use to clean the top of my brows and I go ahead and clean around my lips. So anywhere that looks really like funky, I'll just go ahead and clean it. And then it looks like that. So I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of translucent powder because como que, I don't know, I feel like it falta. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there. And on the lips. So that it's moist under the matte on top. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go ahead with a little brush. And go ahead and take everything off and I lick it once and let it dry just to remove any like excess powder which is now in my in my mouth so that's honestly my final fucking look and let's fix this wretched ass here oh I forgot to say what um what lipstick that was right so this one is from the shade, uh, from the company Rude Cosmetics, and then it's in the shade Reckless. If I didn't say. I'm pretty sure I didn't. So now I'm going to brush on my hair. And... It's time to get on into what is going to be in the giveaway for reaching the 500 subscribers. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean my area and I'll be right back with everything. Okay, so let's get on in what the fuck is going to be in this giveaway 
first off first i want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and all you have to do to win these following products is to subscribe and comment down below anything it could be an emoji anything as long um along with your instagram if you don't have an instagram you could go ahead and do it along with your email um but let's get on and show let me show you guys what is in the video in the giveaway so everything is in this box right here i don't want to show it because my the man wrote my address all over the entire box i don't know why but he did so um i'm just gonna be pulling out the shit from i guess and just show you guys what it is so the first thing first is this um makeup pouch right here this is the beauty creation makeup pouch and this is flawless day all day and i'm thinking about putting some candy and stuff in here so yes and then um is this a morphe edge jeffree star eye brush collection so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna give it like, like this. So, this is what she looks like. I'm not gonna open it, of course. Or, well, I could, right? Because they're like close, aren't they? Yeah. So, there'll be all these face um, eye brushes because honestly, you can never go wrong. Like, you need a lot of eye brushes. So, I think this is so cute. And I don't even have one, but that's okay. But this is, this is what it looks like. So next thing are lashes. So this is one of the pair of lashes. Then I put in some like natural ones. And then like some super natural ones. Because you never know what a person's taste. And then these that are like there. And then the next thing is this right here. This is the Morphe X Jeffree Star setting. Um, spray and then another one which is the one from um, from Beauty Creations the one that I showed you guys then we have the Morphe X Jeffree Star Iconic Nudes this is the five piece um, lippy things and I think they're so cute honestly like they're adorable so you get um, two matte things I don't think they're matte does it say so it, it includes um two velour liquid lipsticks and three lip glosses so these are the liquid lipsticks and then these are the glosses and then i went ahead and thrown in this one i was gonna purchase the the, the one from uh um jeffree star and murphy but it was sold out so i went ahead and got this one i like this one um so yeah, then there's some more lashes, then like I said, I was going to be throwing in this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain, um, just so that you guys can also be cleaning out the bottom of your brows or whatever you want to use it for, it's there. Then we have this palette right here, this is from Flaunt Beauty. It is a six color eyeshadow. Let me show it to you guys. It's called Indica by Flaunt Beauty infused with infused with cannabis sativa. I don't I don't know what that means, but this is what she looks like. I think it's cute. It's super cute. Next one is this one. It's called Sex on the Beach by the um by rude cosmetics which is where the lipstick that i use is from and this one has like your naturals i thought this one was so cute i was like i have to put it i have to put it the next one is this one right here this is a Cre uh, beauty creations cali glow uh, and i showed this in my last video so they're just highlighters so these last two are shadows, um, eyeshadow palettes, big shadow palettes, not really big, but I guess, um, from Morphe. So the first one is uh, this one right here. This is the 18A Blue Yoway. Yo Let me show you guys what it looks like. Oh my god, that's just so cute, so sleek, so it's matte. 
This is what she looks like. It has blues. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. You know, if you want to get out of your comfort zone, now you can with this blue palette. And the last thing is the palette that I've been saying, which is the reason that I've been using this palette a lot. Well, not a lot. I used it like once on. But I did create a video using it again, and I didn't like the video, so I never posted it. But this is the 3503 um, uh, Fierce by Nature palette. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like if you guys don't know. This is what she looks like. This is the one I have. I've been using it. Um, and I decided to select this one because it has your naturals. But then it also has shades that you can get out of your comfort zone with, you know. It has like the greens, the pinks, the purples. So you can honestly create a lot with this palette. I was going to choose the James Charles one, but it was out of stock by the time I wanted to. So I cut it. So all you have to do is go ahead and subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and you want to you can comment anything you like um, along with your Instagram or email if you don't have an Instagram. And if for an extra entry, like for a more chance to win, um, go ahead and follow my Instagram at anyway.littleslow. So I'll go ahead and leave it up on the screen. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and good luck to all of you guys one of you guys will be winning this and if you do not win this one don't worry about it give me to a thousand and i will be having another one and then this one i'll be having two winners so go ahead and subscribe but anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe to enter this giveaway anyways see you guys on the next one thank you